So a pond like this is really appropriate for a small, a small scale property. We live on a third of an acre here, and this is a good size pond for this size property in terms of its ability to attract beneficials and manage this size of a food forest. On larger properties, there's other kinds of ponds that you can build that provide additional functions where drought is an issue and you want to catch and store winter water to provide irrigation in the summertime. Large irrigation rainwater catchment ponds can be one of the most sustainable and ecological ways to catch and store water in the landscape. Provide for the needs of an agricultural system or the needs of a rangeland cattle type system. Ponds like that also can provide recreation for swimming, um, for larger scale aquaculture systems. Aquaculture meaning systems where we might be actually growing fish, growing plant food like water chestnuts and cattails that you can actually eat as a high mineral and nutrient food source, um, lotus root. So as you start to scale up in the size of your pond, a, a whole new set of potentials start to arise. And depending on the kind of pond you want, you will design and build your pond appropriate to the kinds of functions that you're looking for. Because to achieve, say, a rainwater catchment for water storage and flood irrigation system pond, then it's important to build the dam in a very specific way, to put a pipe through the dam wall that can allow you to drain the pond down. Um, so there are many different ways to look at ponds and think about how to build them in a way that provides for the ecological benefits that you're looking for. Mm -hmm.